हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रितेश फ्रॉम डांसिंग विद डेटा क्योंकि डेटा ही दाता है हु एम आई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी फर्स्ट गिव यू अ गुड न्यूज दिस इज आवर सीरीज टैब्लो इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड डू यू नो दिस इज टुडे इज आवर फोर्थ क्वेश्चन बट टैब्लो इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 दिस हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड एज अ टैब्लो ब्लॉग पोस्ट एंड माय ब्लॉग इज वन ऑफ दोस ब्लॉग्स सो थैंक्स टू एवरीवन I think someone has nominated my blog over there, so thanks to him or her as well. And last but not the least, our we are going in the right direction with respect to this very particular series. So I am quite happy with that. So let's move further to this question number four. Question number four is: What is the difference between full refresh extract versus incremental refresh? This is quite generic. It's not limited to Tableau. So I'll give you some good, good generic example as I do always. the formal definition of full load is deleting the existing data and reconstructing it, it from scratch that is full load incremental load is the process of loading data incrementally only new and altered data is loaded to the target so let us start with a practical example we are going to start with this biology book do you know that i have given mbbs as well that's a different thing that i got failed doctor is this best doesn't sound cool right anyways so if you see when i used to read biology this is my sister book she is and she's a doctor so i we used to put a bookmark over there right because we know that we have already read all these pages and these are not going to change so we used to put bookmark why we used to put the bookmark so that we don't have to scan it from the scratch the next day otherwise it, you know, you're going to waste your time in scanning the pages over there and this bookmark is based upon the page number technically okay i have read this much today so now i'll put it over there this is a good good example or good candidate for what incremental refresh but if you are a 90s kid do you remember these diaries these telephone diary directories over there and we we used to write with our pen a for anil ankar b for best ankar c for chanchal ankar d for anyways right but the thing is there here i can put my bookmark if somebody ask me that i'll say that okay i've read this thing you can ask something i can tell right but here everybody from my fam in my family they are going to update it on a daily basis or anyone can update this if somebody ask me that do you are you sure that everyone from the alphabet a then i have to go and check from a if, if somebody ask me b then i have to go because i am that is not that is not static it is bound to get changed right so this is a good example of full refresh i can have full refresh i'll have to scan my pages right from the beginning every time because someone is going to change it on a daily basis right so that's a practical example but we are going to connect to tableau and see uh, with the cricket data as well so this is a simple case where you see the test cap test cap means who was the first player who played for india it and he was none another other than other than mr amar singh i have heard that he was a fast bowler quite fast and the latest one it shows aksar patel but you know that we had shreyas ayer who debuted recently only so that is not updated so we will update that but if you see these numbers are quite static once you are if shubham gill is 297th player over there he is there this is not going to change again aksar patel is 302 this is not going to change Rishabh Pant is not going to change. Good candidate for incremental refresh. So I will set incremental refresh at this very particular column that is called as cap. Okay. At the same time, you have other columns as well where where you see the runs being scored by the players, right? Their debut, their last match, and all. But these are not static. This will change when they will play play their next match. They will add a few more runs over there, but. I have two types of views over there. For one type of view, this will work. So I am going to show you the view that I am talking about. So this is our data source. I have connected this data source to Tableau, and you can see it's simple. So I said we have two different types of views. In one, we have just the serial number of the test cap and the names, and other we have test cap with along with the runs as well, right? Now for this one, I say that Shreyas Iyer has uh, has done debuted for India. So let us try to add that person. but before we add that we have not set the incremental refresher first let us do that so i go to data source i go to extract seems like it is there but you know how to how to do that you go to there incremental refresh i'll select the table to refresh that is cricket data and identify new column using 
CAP cap. So I'm set, all set. That's great. I go back. And now we have 302 players for India. And now we'll add Shriyash a year over there. Okay, we have added. We'll just save it. And remember, we have set cap as the incremental refresh column over there. I go over there, extract, refresh incremental, not full incremental. So when we do that, boom, we see Shriyas Iyer over there as well. But the twist in the story is that 304th player is none another than Ritesh. I won, uh, I, this is my debut match now, along with Shriyas Iyer. I scored 100 runs and he again scored 100 runs as well. So right now, uh, you see, I have another view over there, which is having runs as well. So now I, I will debut, right? 304th player. So let us see what will happen. Here you go. Here is Ritesh, 304th player for India. I scored 100 run over there and I save it. I can go back and I say, okay, I am the Sada Hak Atherak. Come here. Ritesh based 304. I scored 100 run as well as you can see over there. Right. And Shriyas also scored in, in that match, say he also scored 100. So for him, it will be like equal to 170 plus 100. So we both scored 100, 100, right? This was second match for Shriyas and first match for me. That's great. We had a good time over there. And I can go back there. And again, I'll refresh once more because we have made some changes over there. I say refresh incremental. So that will do nothing because Ritesh is already there. And if I go over there, I will see that, okay, I got my 100 run over there. I refreshed it again. But now for Shriyas, it's like 170 only. Right. But it should have been 270 because he also scored. Right. Because we are doing incremental refresh on this very particular field. So that won't work for the other situation where you don't have static data, but dynamic one. Right. These are all dynamic. And for this view, you need to have those runs as well. So incremental will not work. This is like this very particular directory where you'll have to go back and update it. So what I'll do, I'll go over there and I say, now this is not a good candidate for incremental. I have to refresh it in a full mode. And boom, I can see 270 for Shriya's a year as well and 100 for me as well. So I hope you understand the difference between incremental and full refresh, right? You understood, right? So this is Ritesh signing off from Dancing with Data. This is Dr. Ritesh signing off from Dancing with Data. Because data is what you get, everything is good.